हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एंड स्टडिंग एट योर होम वेलकम बैक टू योर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फ्रॉम एल पी एम पब्लिक स्कूल विच इज़ सिचुएटेड इन गोला बाजार गोरखपुर दिस इज़ योर सब्जेक्ट टीचर ऑफ सोशल स्टडीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू समराइज ऑल द एक्सरसाइज ऑफ चैप्टर फोर द हाउस इज वी लीव इन in just in one video okay students so in our previous video we had uh, we had completed all the exercises of this chapter and in today's video we are going to summarize all these exercises just in one video okay students is that clear so so st so students uh take out your social studies book and your pc copy and also your pencils and pencil and eraser okay students so it's, let's start doing exercises of chapter 4 the houses we live in okay so what is our chapter name our chapter name is the houses we live in okay so the first exercise of this chapter is mark the following sentences as true or false okay so the first exercise of this chapter is true or false type exercise and uh, in this exercise here uh, some sentences are given and you have to read these sentences and and you have to find out that these sentences are true or false okay and you have to write t for true you have to write t for true and f for false okay is that clear students so um, let's see i start with the first first sentence and the first sentence is houses in deserts have very small windows so students is it true or false the houses Uh, which are in desert area have very small windows yes it is true statement okay so write t over here okay write t over here okay is that clear and now next one is flats are not attached to each other okay not attached to other houses okay so uh, does the flats are not attached are flats not attached to each other students so it is a false statement because uh, flats are in the multi story buildings the flats are houses in the multi story buildings okay so they are attached to the other houses okay so the flats are attached to the other houses and these flats are the houses in the multi story buildings okay so this statement is false so write f over here okay so you have to write f for false in this box okay and next one is we cannot make houses with snow so is it true or false students so as you all know in a very cold places where it snow falls a lot the people build their houses out of the snow so this statement is totally false because we can make our houses out of the snow so write f for false okay come to the next exercise uh, next one is next sentence is all huts are made of straw and mud yes this is a uh, true statement because all uh, all huts are a kacha house and kacha house are made of mud and straw okay so it is a sorry it is a true so here write t over here okay you have to write t over here because it's a true statement okay students 
एंड एक्सरसाइज नंबर वन इज कंप्लीटेड एंड मूव टू द नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज एंड एक्सरसाइज टू इज चूज द करेक्ट आंसर ओके चूज द करेक्ट आंसर सो हियर हियर सम सेंटेंसेज आर गिवेन एंड ईच सेंटेंसेज हैव थ्री ऑप्शन ओके स्टूडेंट्स Each sentences have three options, and you have to choose the correct answer out of these three options. Okay, so let's start doing these exercises. So first one is an igloo is a house made of, and three uh, options are cement, straw, and snow. Okay, so which one is correct answer? An igloo is a house made of. snow okay so snow is the correct answer now move to the next one and the next one is stilt houses are made a uh, found in stilt houses are are found in and the three options are so the first one is places covered in water next one is deserts and the third one is rocky places so the stilt houses are found in places covered in water so exercise uh, option a is correct okay option a is correct now move to the third sentence and the third sentence is places that get heavy rain have houses with and again three options are given you have to choose the correct one so for uh, option a is flats a flat roof option b is no windows and option c is sloping roofs okay so which one is the correct answer so option c is correct answer sloping roofs okay so places that get heavy rain have houses with the sloping roof so that the water of rain drain is re okay drain is leave from the roof okay so that's why they built their houses with the sloping roof now move to the next sentence and the next one is thatched roofs are found in and three options are given again so first one is huts and uh, option b is flats and option c is bungalows so which one is the correct answer students thatched roofs are found in huts so option a is correct answer okay and now exercise number second is completed so move on to the last exercise exercise number third answer the following questions so our third exercise is answer the following questions okay so question number 1 uh, one is why do we need a house so question number 1 is why do we need a house so students why do we need a house we need a house to live in okay every every human being need a house to live in and the animals also need a house to live in okay a house protect us from the climate change like rain cold sunlight wind storm etc okay students is that clear now question number 2 is why do people build different kinds of houses so students the answer is repeat after me people build different kinds of houses according to the place 
they leave okay repeat after me students people build different kinds of houses according to the place they live okay according to the region according to plan according to the climate of that place the people build their houses okay is that clear and move on to the next question and the next question is why are some houses built on stilts can you answer this questions why are some houses built on stilts so the answer is in such places the ground is covered with water houses are built on stilts okay so in such places the ground is covered with the water so the houses are built on the top of the long wooden poles okay and this wooden poles are called stilts so that's why this kinds of houses are called stilts houses okay is that clear now move to the next question and the next question is why do why do houses built in deserts have thick walls and small windows can you answer this question students so the answer is the houses in deserts have thick walls and small windows because this helps them keep out the heat of deserts okay repeat after me the houses in deserts have thick walls and small windows because this helps them keep out the heat of desert okay and the mud also keep cool their houses so that's why they build their houses out of the mud in the desert area with the very thick wall and the small windows is that clear students now come to the next question and the next question is why do why do some houses have sloping roofs so tell me students why do some houses have sloping roofs so in such places which get a lot of rain or snow the houses are made with the sloping roof okay so that's why uh, so why these kinds of houses are made with the sloping roofs because this helps them to drain off the uh, the water of the rain okay now move to the next question students and the next question is what are the differences between a bungalow and a flat can you tell me students what is the difference between a bungalow and a flat a bungalow and a flat so students as i told you in our previous video that a bungalow is a single story building okay a bungalow is a single story building that is a only that has only one level okay one or two level okay and uh, there is a no stairs uh, in the bungalow okay and it may have only a, a balcony or a lawn okay and the flats are houses in the multi story buildings okay and flats are attached to other houses okay they are attached to each others but the bungalows are not attached to any other houses okay they are single story buildings so this is the difference between a bungalow and the flat so repeat after me students a bungalow is a single story building while flats are houses in multi story buildings okay is that clear so students now you have now you have to write these all exercises in your pc copy and you have to learn them okay you have to learn all these exercises and write it on your pc copy okay is that clear so i hope you understood so students keep in mind what all you have learned today and bye bye take care of yourself see you in the next video lesson